Today we're taking the force reconnaissance debt that's on the 31st Mio along with the security element and we're teaching them visit board search and seizure on the LCU 2000 in order to allow that capability for the Mew on the further on deployments. We do two evolutions. Prior to this, we run our eight week CQT package. That's our close quarters tactics. We run everybody from our flat bay ranges into our shooting house, back into our breaching ranges. We've tried to make everything as realistic as possible. Uh, this is just a further on reach for down the road of what is gonna happen. So we've tried to limit any type of mitigation that we can, but allow them to train to the full capability. Yesterday was a good day. Uh, today's gonna be our FMP, our final mission. So we should be, should be expecting a really good run. A lot of my guys are getting a lot more comfortable, especially, you know, you come out here from regular infantry unit and you get positioned with some guys that have a lot more training than us. And they come in looking a little more timid. And then they realize they're just the same guys we are. They just have different skills than we do. And from what we've learned, we have skills that they don't. So everything's correlating, everybody's working together and getting everything done. We've got a team that will be on a helicopter and usually two teams on boats. So we'll be doing hook and ladder, coming up on the sides of the ship as the helicopter is fast roping guys onto the main deck. We're gonna hit the engine room, we're gonna hit the aft steering, we're gonna hit the command deck, the bridge, uh, all those key spaces. What we do is we support the force reconnaissance platoon uh, with detainee handling, casualty evacuations, and help them clear spaces aboard the ship. The EOTG provides a continuity of instruction across multiple units that come through the course. So what they do is they learn from the units that are coming through as well as maintain standards and procedures that make VBSS successful for the platoons that are engaging in that. Today was a more complex, uh, more friction filled uh, evaluation of, our, of all the skills that we learned over the last week and a half. We can build a ship in the box, we can give them CQT, we can give them all that kind of knowledge, marksmanship, but until you're actually on the water with a moving vessel, waves, all the stuff, actually having to set a hook on a moving vessel, actually having to fast rope out of a bird onto a moving target is the, the actual game changer. This many bodies, the ship goes down pretty fast and they have it secured and ready to go. They're one cohesive unit, it's not just the MRF guys are doing the hook and climb, they are at the security element is blending right in. These guys are absolutely meeting the challenge and they are absolutely incorporating everybody, swapping SOPs, doing the right stuff. They do not seem like two units. It looks like one cohesive unit at this point.